Okay, we're going to begin lying on our back on the foam roller. But before we get on the foam roller, I want you to grab your second to heaviest loop band and your second to heaviest TheraBand. And with the Uniquely Fit kit, that is our purple loop band and our blue TheraBand. You're going to thread the TheraBand through the loop band, creating what looks like a reformer strap so that you can put your foot into that loop band. Now, with scoliosis, we know we have a convex side and a concave side. Our concave side is our tighter side. It's our lower side. Our convex is our weaker, and it's our higher side. So our focus today is to get that convex side stronger and to get some more flexibility into the concave side to balance out the S-curve. So go ahead and bring that loop band around the foot of your concave side. So that's your dominant side, your dominant leg. You're going to lie supine with your tailbone at the bottom of the roller. And you can gather that band and just kind of rest it down near you because we're going to use it in a second. So the loop band is around the foot and the TheraBand is to your side so that you can use it as a lever. Bring your arms into cactus. We're going to open into a pec minor stretch. So just have that band there. Arms and cactus, holding cactus first. Inhale, softening the breastbone and sternum in towards the roller, wrapping the shoulder blades around the roller, making sure your head and tailbone are supported on it. Tip your tailbone down, arching the low back, finding that deep lordosis that we live in. And now tuck the pelvis under and see if you can flatten the low back into the roller, pelvic flexion. Our goal today is to stay in between those positions, neutral pelvis. If at any time you feel the front of the thighs and hip flexors grabbing, going into that tuck, that pelvic flexion, is a great way to turn off those overactive hip flexors and <clears throat> quadriceps. So from here... I'm going to have you grab that lever, that TheraBand we've created, with the same arm as the leg it's around. Bring both of your elbows into the floor, pushing them down into the floor for stability. Plug your shoulders down, forearms will pop up, fingers are long. Inhale both legs, the knees can be bent. Lift the shins up so that the legs are perpendicular to the floor, straight up in the air. Point the toes. Legs hip distance apart if you have any back issues. They can be together if you don't. We're going to lower that loaded leg down on our exhale. Exhaling to lower. Inhale, feel your pelvis pull towards the wall in front as you lift that leg back up. And exhale, lower. And inhale, lift. And make sure that sternum is reaching in towards the roller, softening. Belly's pulling in towards the spine. Chin's lifted so we don't get a strain in the back of the neck. Two more. Two. And last one. One, bend the knees, put the feet down for a second. Interlace your hands behind your head, supporting your head. We're going to crunch up on an inhale and twist away from your dominant side, twisting away from that concave side, back to center and lower down. So we never want to twist towards the concave side. That reinforces the three-dimensional issue of this twisting that's happening because of the overactivity. So we're going to lift up on our inhale and we're going to twist towards our convex, towards our non-dominant side, back to center and lower down. Strengthening the obliques in the lower pelvic floor on our non-dominant side to balance out. Lifting up, we're also getting a nice stretch as we twist in the side body of our concave side where we're tight. Give me one more here. Inhale to lift, pelvis pulls forward, lengthening. Don't let your torso get shorter as you go up. Exhale, control it as you go down. Grab that lever with your hand again. Same side, pin the elbows into the floor. Lift the legs up into the air like we did before, perpendicular. Feet hip distance, legs hip distance apart if you have back issues together, if you don't. And externally ro rotate your legs from the top of your hips. So make sure it's not from the knees or the ankles. Same exercise here, lowering the loaded leg down on your exhale. Getting a little more into the lateral hamstrings, lower pelvic floor, internal obliques. Plugging the shoulders down, using that breath. Just two more. We want to spend more time on the convex side, but we always want to start on the concave side with strength work so the muscle memory will translate to the other side and the movement patterns will be more efficient. One more. And bend that knee. Now go fish for that foot if you can up in the air. If not, you can come off of that roller. It's pretty easy to lift the other foot once the other one's down 
and put the loop band around it. But if you need to come up and off the roller to switch sides, go ahead and do that. So we're going to bring the loop band around our convex sides foot and we're going to begin with our parallel lowering and lifting. Plantar flex your foot as long as you don't lose the band. Both legs are up. Elbows pinned into the floor. If you can't get your elbows to the floor for one reason or the other, you can push your palms into the ground. Go ahead and lower that leg down on your exhale, taking your time, no racing. Inhale, lift it up. So send that energy through the lower abs up through the crown of the head. So you're lifting up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee as that leg lowers down controlling it. As that leg lifts up, the torso lengthens, the pelvis pulls towards the wall in front of you. Give me five more on this side, doing extra repetitions to balance that body out. Five, exhale down, and four. And you can also take the hand of the leg that's on the same side of the leg that's up to the hip to kind of guide that hip and make sure it's not hiking or the leg is not pulling closer towards you. It should be straight up in line with that hip, that extended leg that's isometrically held. Two more, two, and last one. You're doing great. Exhale, and inhale. Bend the knees, set the band to the side. Let's come back to our crunches, interlacing the hands behind the head, lengthening the torso as you crunch up, working the rectus abdominis, twisting away from the concave side again. So we don't want to twist towards our convex, I mean, excuse me, we don't want to twist towards the concave. We want to twist away from it, engaging the convex side of the abdominals and getting that rotation, countering the rotation that's natural because of the S-curve. So four more. Just know that you're twisting away from your dominant arm, your dominant side, the lower side due to the S-curve. And three. Last two. Make each one count. Hear those exhales. I want to hear that ujjayi breath. It sounds like the ocean. Bracing the abdominals, one more, up, twisting, wonderful. From here, gather that band again, lifting those legs back up perpendicular. Remember, they can be hip distance apart or they can be together if you don't have any back issues. Pointing the toes, external rotation from the top of the hip sockets. When you're ready, taking that leg down on your exhale, controlling it. So this does mimic the reformer the reformer, the legs and straps. But what's nice here is we have the challenge of the stability with the roller. We're really using those internal abs to stabilize. So we're going to do extra repetitions here. So just stay with it. If at any point in time you feel those hip flexors, the front of the thighs grabbing, tuck that pelvis, find pelvic flexion. Puppy dog tuck of the pelvis. Give me five more. Five using that breath, and four, softening the breastbone inward, wrapping the shoulder blades around the roller, softening your gaze, closing the eyes if it feels nice, might be an extra challenge for your proprioception, one more, and one, bending the knees, placing the feet on the ground. Make your way off your roller very slowly, and we're going to take our heaviest loop band and we're going to bring it around our upper arms above our elbows. From here, we're going to bring our forearms onto our foam roller. So heaviest loop band in our set is our gray loop band. It goes above the elbows and forearms we're going to place on the foam roller for a forearm plank. Feet hip distance apart if you have back issues, together if you don't. Knee taps from here. I want you to tap your knees down, push those forearms into the roller, pulling out on that band to feel the scapular stabilizers. Tap the knees down. Exhale, tap them down. Inhale, pick them up. Exhale, tap them down. Inhale, pick them up. Exhale, inner thighs resist as you lower. Inhale, pelvis pulls towards the feet as you lift. Feel that energy. Exhale, pelvic floor muscles lift in and up. So as the pelvis pulls down, the pelvic floor muscles lift in and up. Shoulder blades together. Puff up your serratus, your shoulder blade anchor by pulling the shoulder blades together. Lift the chin a few inches. Give me two more. Two. You've got this last one. And one. Glide that loop band down to your wrist. Sit back into child's pose. Pulling out on the wrist with the band on. Yes. Palms facing in. 
forehead down, sitting heavy on the heels here. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. And one more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Great job. 